Hey there everyone, this is Matt from Creative Reviews and today we're doing an experience review on the Motorola Android Droid X. This is a phone that came out about two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago, and this one is on Verizon as you can see here. Now this is my experience review because this is the phone that I've had for the last two and a half years before I upgraded my phone a few months ago. So, what do I think about this phone? It is not the best phone. And this re review or experience review is being made in February of 2013. So this is mainly for you people who may see this phone on eBay, want to buy it from a friend, or think to have this phone in some iteration now to use as your phone for everyday use. I know that there is a Droid X2 that came out with a much faster processor, but we're going to be focusing on the Droid X today and how it has handled two years of use, or in fact less. I have this phone and I had this with insurance, so I actually trade this out a few times and I believe the last time I traded out was a year before my contract ended. So this is the phone that I've had for a year. Now I'm not sure if this is a refurbished phone or a brand new phone, but when it came, it came scratchless, it came in perfect condition. But let me show you what has gone on with the phone here. Uh, the first point that I have to say is the battery life has died. I mean, it has performed terribly. I charge up in the morning, let's say at 9 o'clock, and I, I use it a little bit, you know, surfing the web, maybe making a call, one single call, and it's down by 12 or 1 in the afternoon, and that's unacceptable. It just doesn't work. Uh, two the screen could be better if you're you know if you're if you know anything about OLED screens or Apple's retina display on their iPhone or iPod touch those screens are a lot better this one is just your generic LCD screen it's pretty or LED screen it's pretty bad the viewing angles are not that good right now it has a white back so it's producing a lot of light but it's really not that good it didn't I could not really see it in sunlight and it just it never satisfied what I was doing. And if you can see here there are little spots on the screen. That's because at certain points after hitting certain things, you know, this is my app killer which I use a lot, it just developed this black spot which does not go away. It's on the screen forever. And that developed maybe about seven months in and just never went away. At that point, I didn't want to spend any money on my insurance to get a new phone, so I stuck with this phone. So two points already, the battery dies really quickly. That's something that you could get over by purchasing a, an aftermarket battery or anything. Uh, another thing, the Wi-Fi connection is pretty terrible. It's spotty. Right now it is connected, but at one out of four bars on here. And normally, during my everyday use, I sit on the couch, I'm upstairs, I'm everywhere in this house, and there's Wi-Fi access to the laptop and the iPad and the iPhone, and it connects all the time, but this one goes in and out and causes me to use my cellular connection, which is not good because you want to be on Wi-Fi. You don't want to be paying for data that you don't have to use. So that's an unreliable issue. Um, the processor is very slow. If you're looking for anything now in comparison, you can't really find anything other than prepaid phones. This phone is slow. As a single core processor, um, most average phones are dual and now even quad core phones are out and they're much faster, much more reliable. I've had a lot of programs crash. It's slow to react. It may be just because of the time I had it, but even when I first got it, it was a little bit slow. It's just not something that's worked and it's not it's something that's gotten worse over time just depending on what you've downloaded and what you have on the phone. Maybe if you take too many pictures, but just something's being loaded up and it's making the phone slower and slower as the days go by. Um, let me take this time to open the back and show you what the battery has actually turned into. Oh, by the way, the little foot on here has broken off and that was hanging off the side for the last time. But we're going to pull this out. Don't really matter. Does the phone is going to be off, so it doesn't matter if I do this. But let me move here and let me show you that the battery spins because the battery itself is bloated. 
If you can see that there, the battery has started to bloat, and this is a battery that's not even a year old. It's probably doing something to the battery life, but that's something that I don't like to see from Motorola. This is an official Motorola battery that came with the phone. So it's not something you'd like to see with, you know, happen to your phone. You don't want this to explode in your pocket. And it hasn't, but I don't like my battery expanding that much when it is a removable battery. Um, in terms of the camera, the camera always had washy pictures, even though it is an 8 megapixel camera. The HD video had a lot of shakiness, and if you move very quickly, you could see a lot of, you know, movement in the camera, and it wasn't focused. Um, also, maybe in the last five months of this, the, uh, the flash did not coincide with the picture taking itself. So what happens is the phone would have the flash flash, but maybe a half a second later the picture would be taken, so what you're left with it was a dark picture, and that's not something that works out. All in all, it's not something that I would suggest to anybody to get, not even the Droid X2. Go for a new phone, go for the if you like Motorola, definitely go for the Razer or the Razer Max. They have great battery life. They're really thin. They're water resistant if you splash something on them. I think they're great. You know, they're much thinner, they're much lighter. But all phones these days are really great. So just in case you see this anywhere, be careful. I wouldn't get it. You know, it's a heavy phone now. It was a heavy phone there then. Does anybody see the resemblance, if you kind of go like this, to the new BlackBerry Z10 device? As soon as I saw it, I thought, you know, this little portion here and here at the bottom, it reminded me very much of that. But maybe that's just me. So this has been Matt from Creative Reviews, and we've been taking a experience review with the Motorola Droid X. This one was on Verizon and I would recommend not getting this. So this is Matt. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Blogger, and Instagram. Let us know what you like and what you don't like, and I'll see you guys next time.